Well, welcome to the channel. We are back on the Millie Bug. Let's go and have a look what's been done since you guys have been away and we've been away. There's black motors. There's black uh, generator stands. There's black fuel pumps. Uh, that's all done in our special ceramic coating. But we're not telling you what we do. No, it's just rattle can stuff, don't worry. Uh, we've got the roof frame worked out. We've just put some tape here to protect the paintwork in case we do something silly. What else are we doing? Electrical, we're getting the headlights ready. We have to do a little bit of work here. Uh, they were all butchered and yeah, to get the new headlights sorted out, that's gotta be done. We have also done the floor, KBS floor, sound deadener and also cleaned off all the glue inside here so Matt can come and get cracking on the upholstery side of things. So we're waiting for him to build the sunroof. Uh, all this mechanism here has to be all fixed up. These got uh, painted, of course. And then the, after Matt's finished, we can put the dashboard in. We can then put, I think he's gonna do the seats after that. We can get the glass in and get the motor built. We've got parts from uh, a couple of suppliers to get the motor built up. What's the size again? It's gonna be stock 16. Stock 1600, but a special crank though, right? Oh, it's a counterweight crank. Yeah, okay. So pretty much a stocky. Yeah. Stock exhaust, Nothing too stock. exciting, because my daughter's got to drive it. She's only yeah. a learner. She's only a learner, but you know, I'm sure the drifting will come after six months. <laughs> <laughs> then we put the, then we put the and then we, that's right then we can start making the motor a bit more powerful so we're going to get these front headlights now how much were the headlights again 500 bucks each each 500 dollars each australian From so New South Wales uh, that would be about 300 dollars american each so yeah but yes uh expensive we'll find out well we're going to get these out of the box here these have to be somewhat assembled, but they are genuine hellers. And they're German quality, supposedly. And they say that they're German quality, made in China. <laughs> hopefully not. Yeah, hopefully it's made. Well, mind you, do I don't see any documentation inside it. I see an empty box. An empty box with, oh no, here's a sticker. Hang on, hang on. It says here, oh, well, there, there is some German writing on it. So this is good. And it does say Germany, yes. There you go. So there's the address. There's the address. So they are German. Good. Excellent. Okay, let's put these suckers together and we will continue. Okay, let's have a look at this German quality. Well, these are assembled, my dear boy, apart from the globe. Do you have a globe? Oh, we need two globes, actually. There's globes in the boxes next to it. Globes in the boxes next to it. Hang on a second. Right, so Parker Globe. And H4 super bright halogen xeon bulbs. Now we know not to touch these with your fingers, otherwise you will you hijack a bus full of penguins and you'll be all sorts of trouble. Now there is an orientation that this goes in as a click, click, and push down and rotate. Push down and rotate. That was not done properly. I should push down and rotate, god damn it. Why aren't you pushing down and why aren't you rotating? There we go. Make sure that that's making contact, which it is. We should be ready to go. They look very special. Okay, let's go take them over to the car. Righto, so we've got our headlights in. Look at that. Beautiful. This is what we're doing, fellas. Uh, sway bar. We're doing a sway bar install. We've got some zip ties holding it. What we're having trouble with is doing these clamps up, squeezing them tight enough to be able to get this little part here to lock it all in place. So uh, we've tried a couple of these clamps and that didn't work. So we're going to try a bucket of boiling hot water just to try and make the, the rubber uh, supple you can see here this part here has to be squashed really really tight and when we're, we're nowhere near it We're about six mil off. So we're gonna this try this. only two. Hey, this is only about two mil off. Oh, that was only two off Wasn't too far. Okay, this well, one. maybe the hot water might work. Might do. Might yeah. expand the metal. Who knows? We'll find All right. Out. Well, we're gonna try it. We'll give it a give it a go Heat up the rubber and see how things work. All right boys and girls. So we have it all mounted 
and the trick to getting these things on was some boiling hot water boiling hot water put it in a tub for 15 minutes and then the the rubber that is or the, it's not really rubber it's like synthetic fake crap rubber <laughs> and then that's enough to be able to squash it down and then bash these plates on but both on everything's bolted up we're going to drop this thing down and see uh how this is going to perform yeah let's get the wheels on and have a have a bit of a crack at it all right guys so can you wake up the mice for me <laughs> yeah them hey that's the other thing you guys haven't seen the 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 cover that that what they call tunnel cover isn't it uh, 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 no, wagon cover oh who knows but anyway we've got a cover on this thing now so anyway he's going to take it for a drive and just see or we'll video it i'm interested to see what this thing is going to do oh look at the headlights are working sway bar look at those nice leds uh, it's got to warm up a bit of course all right we'll get him out on the open road and then he can give us the lowdown on this sway bar and see what it's going to do So the, the verdict is on this sway bar uh, that it's quite stu it's quite steady. You can see it in the video. It doesn't have this going on. Yeah, it doesn't. The body roll has been knocked out. It's well, look, what? actually, just when you did that, look at the wheel. It sits look. there. It's, it's, yeah. It's not rocking and rolling. Yeah. So the, the movement's in the tyre. But not in the suspension. In the suspension. Yeah. I felt comfortable going over curve. That's good. So when I put the 500 kilos in it, Plus, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Yeah, that, that's the test. Because as you guys know, we're using this for the the band stuffs and the, the, all the equipments in the back, so it puts a lot of weight on it. Speakers boom, uh, subbies are in. The battery pack. Yeah, battery pack weighs eighty kilos on its own. Yeah, so you got a hundred, hundred and eighty plus. Hundred and eighty plus the gear. Plus the gear. Yeah. yeah. Maybe that's three hundred gear. Yeah, there you go. All right, we'll get keep going. Cool. Yep. Okay guys, so we decided to just clean up the seat frames before we give them back to Matt and we're just going to give them a very light coating of KBS black just to stop the springs from rusting up. So we've prep, prepped them and cleaned them all up and yeah, let's get some, get some paint on them. Okay, so there you have it. All the seat frames are painted. These are the little dress kick panels that we've got to put on as well. So, yeah, we can send them off to Matt and get them upholstered. Cool, let's keep going. Now, I forgot to video, but uh, as you can see here, we have put the ceiling sunroof frame in. So we've got a little bit of butyl here just to clean up. But we'll do that when it dries. What are you talking about? Oh, we've got... Oh, okay. We're going to do bumper bar mounts. We're going to paint those up in some KBS. Because they need to be painted and put on. So we've got some new chrome bumper bars. But they're from Mexico? Mexico. Mexico. Well, we don't know. We're not sure what, where they're from. But anyway, we've got new chrome ones for this thing. So uh yeah we'll get that sorted so just waiting for that all to dry up there and let's get on to some bumper brackets and there we have it we've got these suckers kbs'd up and polyurethane they're just the bumper brackets but we can uh, get these mounted on pretty soon which is cool uh what other things that we have to do to this weapon of a beast now uh, we've got to i think all this is dried up so that's good we've got a little bit of trimming to do here the butyl and 
yeah we'll just uh, keep going so we've put on the rear bumper bar mounts unfortunately we don't have the hardware to put the brand new bumpers on so we're going to have to wait we also put these little chrome vents on but they're not the best of quality and they're a bit flimsy and the, and the aluminium part around it's just not very well made the other side's actually popping off you can see here pretty dodgy looking and right in there you push it and it just comes back out again so yeah I don't think we're going to be flying with those I think they are very substandard I'm afraid uh, yeah we'll have to do something about those ones um, got the front bumper mounts on as well so yeah we've just got to go and get some hardware then we can get that stuff sorted out and oh we also have we also have some of the upholstery back from Matt there's the back seat doesn't that look special nice gray color so yeah they're gonna be the back ones that are um or the front ones I should say are getting done at the moment so very cool indeed yeah I don't know I think I like them without bumper bars they kind of look a bit odd with those things sticking out but anyway we'll see what happens once the chrome bumpers get on we might look at trying to getting some stainless steel ones because the the quality of the chrome these days they just say wax them otherwise they'll rust <laughs> which is just ridiculous but that's the quality we're getting these days so if we can find some stainless steel bumpers it's going to be a lot better now we did put these little air vents in because the other ones these are the originals you can see they're just way better quality these are the ones that i did put in and they're just junk you know they just the clips didn't hold they just kept popping out of their holes the quality is just not there so i think yeah going back to the original i think that looks very nice indeed all right well i think that's probably going to do it for this episode we've still got a lot of stuff to do we've got to get matt here to do the headlining and once that's done then we can actually get the glass in get the the roof uh sun roof in and we can also start uh, getting the seats and the carpet and then uh we've got to start building the motor too so yeah all right we'll catch you in another episode guys